Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Shanice's Yoga at Pure Bliss Wellness. Uh, I'm Shanice, and today we are doing our Yin Yang Yoga class. So this particular class is a beautiful combination of your flowing vinyasa with your beautiful stretching and relaxing yin put together into a nice, lovely, slow class that is perfect for beginners and all the way through to advanced as well. Uh, so we're just going to take it nice and gently. If anything doesn't feel right for you, come into child's pose at any stage you feel like it and listen to your body. Okay. If you would like anything to enhance your practice, you're welcome to use your yoga blocks and yoga straps. If you don't have any of these, you can use things such as books or containers, pillows or furniture as a block. And for a strap, you can use a belt, a scarf, a towel. Uh, we'll get everybody to have a nice big bath towel if you don't have a yoga block with you, uh, just so that we can use this for some of our yin poses, especially towards the end of the class. Okay. So we're going to get started in a moment, but before we do, just a couple of things that I would really appreciate you do so that I can help uh, get these videos around to a lot more people and get everybody moving uh, as much as we can. So number one, please make sure that you have subscribed to my channel by clicking the button somewhere near this video. Please make sure that you have also liked this video by clicking the little thumbs up. Uh, either now or by the end of the video at some stage would be great. So the little thumbs up, clicking that if you can. Um, also, please making sure that you follow my business pages on Facebook and Instagram under the name Pure Bliss Wellness. Uh, this is where you'll get more information about the videos as well as some behind the scenes content as well uh, and just overall information about my business. So please following both of those, Pure Bliss Wellness, Facebook and Instagram. Um, if you wish to support my business further, uh, then into the discussion uh, after this or in the details at the bottom, I will put the uh, link to my Patreon page. Now, this is a page where you can support me with a monthly subscription where you get behind the scenes content that isn't uh, put anywhere else, uh, including tutorial videos and things like that to enhance your practice further. Uh, or you can put through just a one-off donation through that as well. Now, it is in US dollars currently, uh, as there is no other option, uh, but you can pay with any card and any currency. So uh, I will put the link to that in this description, but otherwise it is just searching on Patreon, Pure Bliss Wellness. Uh, Shanice's Yoga at Pure Bliss Wellness, actually. We changed the name. So that is all on there. Really would appreciate if you can do at least a couple of those things, subscribing and liking being the main two to this channel. So with that being said, we're going to get started. Beautiful yin yang class today, looking forward to it. So we'll get everybody onto their mat or into their space when they're ready. So just making sure you've got nothing around you that you could hit or hurt yourself um, and just making sure you've got plenty of space. You don't have to have a mat, uh, just the space of a mat, okay? All right, so we'll get everybody comfortably seated. It doesn't have to be like this. Uh, you can sit however you would like to. If you find it quite uncomfortable on your hips, you can also use a block or a pillow underneath your pelvis uh, to help bring you a little bit higher and take some pressure off of your hips. Uh, otherwise, sitting however you like. Let's get hands face up on your lap or interlaced in your lap. And when you're ready, just gently closing your eyes. Taking a nice big breath in. And a nice long breath out. Again, taking a nice big breath in. And a long breath out. Just going to start our class today with a couple of quiet, mindful minutes. Just to allow ourselves to slow down, to disconnect from the busyness of our week not thinking about what lies ahead, just allowing ourselves to soak up this moment. If you have music playing, allow yourself to get lost in the music for a moment. Listen to the sounds. If you have no music on, listen to the sounds around you instead. Whether they be relaxing or not, trying to find that moment of peace while listening. 
becoming aware of the weight of your body against the ground, safely supported. The feel of your hands on your lap. The feel of your spine nice and tall, with your shoulders relaxed away from your ears. Taking another nice big breath in, and a nice long breath out. Now just gently becoming aware of your breath. Not changing it too much at the moment, but just becoming aware of whether it is shallow in your chest or whether it's deep down into your belly. Often when we are sitting a little bit more stressed, our breath sits a little bit more shallow. So now we're gonna take a nice big breath in and feel the belly rise. Really push it out as much as you can. And then breathing out through an open mouth and let yourself feel the belly fall. Again, breathing in, feel the belly rise. Hold the breath slightly at the top. And then breathing out, feel the belly fall. A couple more in this way, breathing in. Breathing out. One more time, breathing in. And breathing out. And taking a nice big breath in, breathing out, bringing your hands into prayer at heart center and gently bowing your head down towards your fingers. In yoga, this prayer sign is a sign to ourselves. To embrace all of your dualities, embracing this moment and connecting it into your heart. If you'd like to set yourself your own intention for your class today, please do. Take a nice big breath to seal it in. On your next inhale, slowly sweeping your arms out to the side, gaze lifts, palms come together, reaching up above your head. And exhale, hands into prayer, heart center. Inhale, coming up again, feel free to keep the eyes closed. Exhale, hands into prayer, heart center. A couple more, inhale. Exhale, one more time, inhale, and exhale. This time, inhale, open the arms wide, squeeze through your back, lift the gaze up. Breathing out, round in through your spine, give yourself a big hug, pushing back through your shoulder blades. Breathing in, opening wide. Breathing out to round. One more time, breathing in, breathing out. Then you're going to breathe in to bring the spine up, swoop the arms up, palms face one another, shoulders relax, and exhale to reach your right hand high. Inhale, reach the left hand high. Exhale, reaching the right. Inhale, both hands reach up. And exhale, gently turning to your left. Right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you. Looking over the back shoulder and sinking a little bit deeper if you like. Inhale, and gently come back into the center, arms up. And exhale to the opposite side, taking a nice big breath. Sinking a little bit deeper. I'm going to inhale and gently come back into the center, arms up. And exhale, left hand beside you and gently bending into the left hand side. Keeping both hips on the ground and your bottom shoulder away from your ear. So either staying up on your hand or take the forearm all the way down if you can. Gaze up to the ceiling for a little bit more. If it's too much, just gently looking down at the ground. Then inhale, gently come back up, both arms reach up. And exhale, coming into the opposite side. Taking a nice big breath. Maybe sinking a little bit more on that exhale if you can. And then inhale, gently coming up, both arms reach up. Either hold here or exhale to gently bend back. Open the arms, shine the chest up. 
Breathing in, arms come up. Breathing out, hands in front of you and gently bending forward, letting your head relax. Taking a nice big breath. And then inhale to slowly roll up, swooping your arms all the way up. And exhale, hands into prayer, heart center. Then taking your hands to your lap, chin to your chest. Just gently feeling the back of your neck stretch. Then you're going to inhale, take the chin along the chest, right ear to right shoulder. Exhale, chin down to chest, and the opposite way, left ear to left shoulder. Inhale, chin to chest, across, right ear, right shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder. Inhale, chin to chest, right ear, right shoulder, and then all the way around if you would like. Exhale, chin to chest, then gently the opposite way. Inhale, going back. Exhale, coming down, holding at your chest. Then inhale, gently bring your head up and take your hands to your knees. And then you're going to inhale and roll your shoulders up, back and down. Exhale, roll them back, up and forward. Inhale, rolling up, back and down. Exhale, roll them back, up and forward. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Coming back to neutral, we're then gonna take the arms wide, palms face forward. We're gonna pull the shoulder blades back together and down without popping your chest and keeping your core nice and strong. Taking a nice big breath in. Breathing out, we're gonna round the right shoulder forward and look to the left. Inhale, back to the middle. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale to the middle, hold, and then exhale to reach as far right as you can. Inhale to the middle. Exhale to the left. Inhale to the middle, hold, keep the tension in the shoulders, and exhale to pulse the hands forward. Keeping nice and strong. If your shoulders are starting to get sore, try to keep them up. If you need to bring them down, you can. Turn the palms up, pulsing up. Turning the palms back, pulsing back. Turning the palms down, pulsing down. Beautiful, bring the arms down, take an inhale to sweep the arms all the way up. And breathing out, hands into prayer at heart center. Beautiful, we're gonna bring our legs forward now. Keeping them nice and straight, pulling your toes up towards you and give your legs a little bit of a shake to start. All right, having your hips so they're hinged forward, so pull your glutes out from under you if you need to. We're going to breathe in to swoop the arms up. And breathing out, we're going to reach far forward, coming to halfway, just gently warming up, so don't push yourself to start. Just trying to reach forward and trying to put your lower stomach on your thighs. Keeping nice and strong, breathing in. And then gonna breathe out to let your head and hands relax. And again, if you would like, bending one knee at a time. And then coming into stillness and see if you can sink a little bit more. Again, bending one knee at a time. And then see if you can sink a little bit more. Then gonna breathe in to slowly roll up, swoop your arms up. And breathing out, hands into prayer at heart center, giving your legs a shake. And then you're going to bend our right knee, take our right hand behind us and left arm out to the side. You're going to do a little bit of an opener for the back, take it nice and gently. We're going to breathe in, just sweep the left arm in front of us, lift the hips and the chest up to the ceiling. Breathing out, coming down. Then we're going to do two more, breathing in, lifting up as much as you would like. Breathing out, coming down. One more time, breathing in. And breathing out. Beautiful. Bring both legs out, give them a shake, and then swap them over. Left knee bent, right leg straight. Right arm out to the side and left arm back. You're going to breathe in, swooping up. Breathing out, coming down. 
Two more, breathing in, breathing out. Last time, breathing in and breathing out, coming down, beautiful. Giving both legs a little bit of a shake again. And then coming forward into your tabletop, onto your hands and knees. Bringing wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We're gonna breathe in, so lift the gaze forward, drop the chest, lift the sitting bones up. Breathing out, tuck the tailbone under, lift up through the shoulder blades, gaze to stomach. Breathing in, looking forward, drop the chest and belly. Breathing out to round, tuck the tailbone under. One more time, breathing in. Breathing out. Then coming back to neutral. Then we're going to breathe in, so lift our right arm forward and kick our left leg back. Breathing out, tucking the knee into the nose as much as you can. Inhale to reach out long. Exhale, rounding in. One more time, inhale out long and then hold here if you like, or exhale, see if you can grab your back foot, lifting through the chest and opening, trying to keep the body square. Breathing in, breathing out, hand and knee come back down and give yourself a bit of a circle on your hands and knees. Going the opposite way as well. Then coming back to neutral. Then you're going to inhale, left arm forward and right leg back. Exhale, rounding in, knee to nose. Inhale out long. Exhale in. One more time, inhale. Hold here if you'd like, or exhale, grab the back foot and lift the chest. Letting the lower back gently arch, breathing in. Breathing out, hand and knee down, and give yourself a circle again. And then going to take an inhale and push the ground away, open through the back. And then breathing out to drop the chest and squeeze through the shoulder blades. Again, breathing in, push away. Breathing out to squeeze. Coming back to neutral. We're going to do two more if you would like to stay in your tabletop, you can. Otherwise, coming up into your high plank if you'd like to make it harder. We're then going to breathe in, push the ground away. Breathe out to squeeze. Last one, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, come back to neutral, then put your knees to the ground. Then you're going to take the knees as wide as the mat and toes together, sinking down into your child's pose and taking a nice big breath. Reaching your arms far forward, but letting your shoulders relax away from your ears. If you'd like to, you're welcome to interlace your hands behind your back, hands up to the ceiling, and gently rocking from side to side. And when you're ready, gently letting go of your hands and taking them back out to your child's pose. And then on your next inhale, gently coming back up into your tabletop, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Then you're going to take the hands slightly further in front, further apart, tuck the toes. And when you're ready, lifting up into your downward facing dog and gently walking your dog, bending each knee. Feel free to come forward on your shoulders and wrists as well if you would like to. Just listen to what your body would like to warm up. And then gently coming into stillness, straightening both legs, lifting the sitting bones to the ceiling, letting your head relax and take a nice big breath. On your next inhale, looking between your hands, stepping your feet forward to meet your hands. And then exhale, bend your knees, pop your stomach on your thighs, grabbing opposite elbows, and gently rocking from side to side. And then letting your hands relax, let your head relax. 
Taking a big breath, and if you'd like to, straighten your legs. If you need to bring your body up a little bit, you can. Otherwise, staying where you are, really trying to aim stomach to thighs. On your next breath in, gently bending your knees, slowly rolling all the way up, swooping your arms up. And exhale, hands into prayer, heart center, and give your legs a little bit of a shake, and take a drink of water if you would like one. Okay, we're going to go through a nice slow variation of our sun salutation this time. Just to gently warm the body up and get everything moving. So this is our nice vinyasa flow section of this class. So coming forward to the front of your mat, hands into prayer. We're going to take an inhale to swoop the arms up. And exhale, hinging forward, relaxing at the bottom. Taking a nice big breath, sink a little bit more. Breathing in, flatten your back. We exhale just to step our right foot back, coming into a low lunge. So straightening that back leg as much as you can. Planting the right hand down, take an inhale to lift your left arm up. Exhale to plant it down to the ground. And then you're going to inhale to step the back foot to the front, straighten both legs. And exhale to hinge forward. Inhale to flatten your back. Exhale just to step your left foot back into your low lunge opposite side. Straightening that back leg as much as you can. Plant the left hand down. Take an inhale. Right arm lifts up. Exhale. Right hand down. Then inhale to step the back foot to the front. Straighten both legs. And exhale to hinge forward. Inhale to flatten your back. And exhale, stepping back into your high plank. Holding here for a moment, nice and strong. We're engaging through the core, pushing the ground away with your hands and engaging your legs and your glutes. Breathing in. Breathing out, knees to the ground. Squeeze through the back of your shoulders. We come all the way down in a straight line. Elbows tuck in. Move my blocks. You're going to inhale to just lift your chest, mini cobra. Exhale to come down to the ground and stay here. And then you're going to inhale to do that again, mini cobra, gently stretching the back. Breathing out, back down to the ground again. Last time, breathing in, mini cobra. Breathing out, bring the body down. This time, engage your core and push back to your tabletop and then to your downward facing dog. And walking your dog again. On your next inhale, rounding forward to your high plank again, shuffle your feet back and hold for your exhale. Inhale, exhale, to drop to your knees, squeeze the shoulders all the way down again, the elbows stay tucked in. Then inhale, mini cobra or full cobra, straighten your arms and lift your gaze up. Same again, we exhale to come down to the ground, elbows stay in. Inhale, full cobra. Exhale, coming down. Last time, inhale, full cobra. This time, exhale, tuck the toes, down the facing dog and walking your dog again. If you would like to build a little bit more this time, we're gonna keep our knees lifted if you would like to, otherwise, dropping them as you've already done. So you're gonna inhale forward, high plank. Hold for your exhale. Inhale and exhale. Dropping the knees or rock forward and come all the way down. Inhale, mini cobra, full or upward dog. Now lift your knees. And exhale, downward facing dog and walking your dog again. Final flow this time. If you have a chaturanga in your practice, doing that in this next flow. Otherwise, taking whichever variation you prefer. You're going to inhale forward, high plank. Hold for your exhale. Inhale. And exhale, coming down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog and gently walking your dog again. 
And your next inhale, looking between your hands, stepping forward, try to do it in one step if you can. And exhale, hinging forward. Inhale, swoop all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands into prayer, heart center, giving your legs a shake. We're gonna go through that again, just a little bit quicker. And that will be it for this round. You're gonna inhale, swooping up. Breathing out, coming down. Moving in, flatten your back. And exhale, just to step your right foot back. Right hand plants down, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, back foot to the front, straighten both legs. And exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, flatten your back. Exhale, just step your left foot back. Plant the left hand down. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, back foot to the front. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale to flatten your back. Exhale, stepping back, high plank. Holding for your inhale. And exhale, come down through any variation you prefer. We inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog, taking a nice big breath. On your next inhale, looking between your hands with the other foot, stepping forward. Exhale, hinging forward. Inhale, swooping all the way up. And exhale, hands into prayer, heart center. Give your legs a shake and take another drink of water. Because I'm incredibly tall, I'm going to shift this camera back. Just when I think I can fit into this camera okay, it proves me otherwise. All right, we're going to do that and hopefully you'll be able to see me a little bit better. Okay, we're going to change up our flow a little bit more now to get a little bit more of a nice, gentle, overall body stretch. So I'm gonna to come to this side of the mat. What we're going to start with this time is bringing one knee into our chest and then taking it back into our warrior three, which is a T shape, and then putting the back foot down to the ground and into a high lunge, okay? And then we'll go from there. So I'll talk you through nice and slow, but just so you know what we're doing. So hands into prayer at heart center for me. Take your weight to your right leg. Keeping that right leg nice and strong beneath you, we're gonna to inhale to lift our left knee into our chest. Breathing out, we're gonna bend from the hips, take the leg back, coming into your warrior three. If you wobble, it's okay, just gently bring yourself back. Hold as you breathe in. And breathe out, back foot comes to the ground, both feet facing the same way, back heel lifted, and arms up. Keeping that back leg as straight as you can. Breathing in, breathing out, coming to warrior two. Your back foot's now flat to the ground, both heels in line. Each arm stretching each way, parallel to the floor. Breathing in, turn your front palm over. And breathing out, right arm up to the ceiling, left arm down. You have the option to lift your back arm off of your leg or to bind it to the front. Hold as you breathe in. Breathing out, right elbow to right knee and left arm reaches up overhead. Taking a nice big breath. Holding for your inhale. This time we're gonna to exhale to just open our chest up to the ceiling, taking that left arm back, opening the chest a bit more. We inhale to come back to the middle. And if you would like, exhale to take that right hand down towards the ground, keeping the chest and hips open. If you find that you start to close and look at the floor, I'd like to come back up to your elbow and open the chest. Otherwise, hand to the floor, holding here. We're going to breathe in to take our top arm up to the ceiling, turn the palm to the wall behind us, and then exhale to take that left hand down your back and see if you can touch your right leg. If you can't, that's okay. And then try to imagine pulling that left shoulder back again, opening through the chest. 
Taking a nice big breath, sinking lower if you would like. If you are used to doing a bind here, you are welcome to, where we take that right hand and we take it back and see if we can hold on to our left hand. You do not have to do this. You are welcome to stay here, but for those of you that are a bit more advanced, you're welcome to try the bind. When you are ready, we gently let go, take the right hand to the floor again, and then inhale, left arm slowly up to the ceiling, palm face forward. On your next breath in, we gently come back up to standing, warrior two. Hold and deepen for your breath out. Then you're gonna breathe in to straighten your front leg, reach as far forward as you can, turn the palms, and exhale, right hand down, left hand up. Try and keep that right leg as straight as you can, and again, the chest open. Breathing in, breathing out, left hand comes to meet right, either on your leg, not your knee joint, anywhere else on your leg, or one hand to either side of the foot on the floor. Taking nice big breaths, sinking a little bit more if you would like, trying to kiss your toes to keep your back flat. If you'd like to add a twist, keep the left hand down and take an inhale to lift the right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, right hand plants back down, sinking over that leg again. Beautiful. We're then gonna come into a little bit of balance here. So we're going to turn that back foot to face it the same way and bend the right knee, coming into the low lunge again. We're then going to breathe in. To set that back foot in, walk the hands forward and play lifting that back foot off of the ground, keeping your front leg bent for now. You're welcome to stay here and keep playing with this. Otherwise, we straighten the bottom leg and lift the top back leg as high as you can. Keeping both legs as straight as you can. If you need to bend the bottom knee to touch the floor, that's okay but really lifting through the back leg. It hurts, or it normally hurts. <laughs> Take a breath in, lift it higher, and breathe out to slowly bring it down, back into that low lunge, both feet facing the same way, back heel lifted. Beautiful, taking a breath in, we're gonna set the back front foot to the back, high plank, either straight to your downward dog or on your exhale, coming down through your flow. Inhale, the upward facing dog. And exhale, the downward facing dog. Taking a nice big breath and walking your dog if you'd like. Move your hips around as much or as little as you need. On your next inhale, looking between your hands, stepping your feet forward, try to do it in one step. And exhale, hinging forward. Then inhale to swoop all the way up, coming up to standing. And exhale, hands into prayer heart center. Give your legs a shake. Take a drink of water if you would like one. That standing split, as it's called, is always a nemesis of mine. It takes a lot of extra work from your glutes to lift your leg higher. So even if your leg is only just off of the floor or nowhere near 90 degrees, don't worry. It's doing a lot for trying to get your stretch for the bottom leg and your strength in your back leg and a little bit in your bottom leg. So you're welcome to have a bit of a laugh at yourself on that one because I, no matter how much I try to engage my leg, it'll only go to a certain height and that's fine. So don't take yourself too seriously. We're just wanting ourselves to move and do things a little bit different. So we're gonna do the same on the other side. All right, so coming in hands into prayer at heart center and weight to your left leg. Then you're gonna breathe in, slowly lifting the right knee up to the chest. Breathing out to slowly bend forward, coming into that warrior three, and embrace your wobbles. Breathing in, breathing out, back foot to the ground in your high lunge, both feet facing forward and back heel lifted, arms up and back leg straight. Breathing in, Breathing out, coming into that warrior two. 
Back foot flat to 90 degrees and both heels in line. Inhale to turn your front palm over. And exhale to reach the left arm up to the ceiling and right arm down. Option to lift or bind to the front. Breathing in. Breathing out, left elbow to left knee, right arm up overhead, and nice long stretch through the right side of the body. With that bottom shoulder, try not to sink into it, really pushing away. We're then going to hold for your inhale, and exhale to take your chest up towards the ceiling and move that right arm back. Inhale to come back to the center, and exhale if you'd like, left hand down towards the ground. Holding here, remember if you close, bring yourself back up to your elbow. And then you're gonna inhale, top arm up to the ceiling, turn your palm to the wall behind you, and exhale to take your right hand down your back, see if you can touch your left leg. Pulling that right shoulder back, open the chest, and you can sink more into that left arm if you would like. For those that are a bit more advanced, if you would like to, Sink that left shoulder even more and bind the left hand back. If you want to give it a try, even if you're a beginner, you're welcome to. Just please be gentle and safe. When you're ready, left hand back to the floor. We inhale, right arm up to the ceiling. Hold for your exhale. On your next inhale, engage through your core. We come back up to standing warrior two. Hold and deepen for your exhale. Inhale to straighten your leg, reach as far forward as you can, turn the palms, and exhale down, left hand down, right hand up. Feeling a nice deep stretch in that left hamstring. Taking an inhale. Exhale, right hand comes to meet left, either somewhere on your leg or down to the floor. And trying to kiss your toes, start to thigh, just letting yourself melt over. If you'd like to add your twist, plant the right hand down, inhale the left hand up, exhale left hand down, and relax over that leg again. Taking a nice big breath. Then you're going to inhale to flatten your back, bend your front knee and turn that back foot into your low lunge, keeping the back leg as straight as you can. We're coming into that fun standing split on the opposite side. So when you're ready, on your inhale, we set the back foot in slightly, walk the hands further forward and play lifting that back foot off of the ground. When you're ready, if you would like to, we then straighten the bottom leg, lift the top leg as high as you can Engaging both legs as much as you can. Really lifting, trying as much as you can. With each breath in, see if you can lift it higher and try to hold it there for your breath out. And you're already breathing in, breathing out, slowly bringing your foot back down into that low lunge, well done. Inhale and then set the front foot to the back, high plank. And either straight to your downward dog or exhale through your flow. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And gently walking your dog again. Holding here for a nice big breath in. Breathing out, knees to the ground. As wide as the mat and toes together, sinking down into your child's pose and just taking a moment to rest. Feel the connection of your forehead against the ground and feel free to let your exhales go through an open mouth. If you would like to, insulate your hands behind your back, hands up to the ceiling and gently rocking from side to side. And when you're ready, gently let go of your hands and taking them back out to your child's pose. Taking a nice big breath. Mm. 
when you're ready. On your next inhale, we're going to slowly come back up, meeting back in down the dog in your own time. Feel free to walk your dog if you would like, or just coming into stillness. On your next inhale, looking between your hands with the other foot, stepping forward. Exhale, hinging forward. Inhale, swooping all the way up, coming up to standing. And exhale, hands in the prayer heart center and give your legs a shake. Well done. Just check on the time because I can't read from back there. Beautiful. Okay. We're going to do a very short bit of balance. We're just going to do our tree, seeing as we did our standing split and our flow. So we're going to do that for a little bit longer, and then we're going to do a few of our yin stretches to cool down. So we're going to do our tree. Right hand to right hip, left foot to the ground and ankle, shin, or up into your groin if you would like. The key point is to make sure you're pushing your leg into your foot and foot into leg so that you're not sunk out into your hip. Keeping that hip tucked under and hands into prayer when you're ready. Then inhale to lift your hands up and exhale to open, shoulders relax. If you wobble, gently bring yourself back. And then inhale, hands to prayer. Exhale, heart center, let go, keep it lifted, and then slowly put it down and then give your legs another shake. And I'm coming into the opposite side. Left hand to left hip, right foot, ground and ankle, shin, or up into your groin. Hands into prayer when you're ready. We inhale to lift the hands up. Exhale to open. Take an inhale, hands to prayer. Exhale, heart center, let go, keep it lifted. And then slowly put it down. Give your legs a shake, well done. All right, we're gonna come into a deep squat now just to help stretch out our legs a little bit more. So we're gonna take our feet about mat width apart and turned out to about 45 degrees. Now, if your legs aren't very stretchy, you may find that your heels will lift when you come down in which case it makes it a balance for you. Otherwise, bring yourself up slightly and you can just hold yourself down here. Let's all give it a try though. We're gonna breathe in to swoop the arms all the way up. And as we breathe out, we're going to hold our hands together, come down, squat, and take your elbows to the inside of your knees, trying to sink down. I took my feet too far apart. There we go. Trying to let your glutes relax down and trying to push out with your elbows. Feel free to let your eyes close. Just take a few nice big breaths here. It's a beautiful grounding pose. If you need to come out of this sooner than I instruct, that's absolutely fine. Take your time. I'm gonna sit here for a couple more breaths. And when you're ready, on your next inhale, gently lifting your pelvis up and then bending forward from your hips with straight legs. Feel free to then gently bend one knee at a time, move your hips around. And bending forward from the hips, feel free to hold on to each elbow and gently rock from side to side, sinking a bit deeper if you would like. 
then letting your hands relax down, let your head relax and take a nice big breath, letting the exhale go through an open mouth. On your next inhale, gently bend your knees, slowly rolling all the way up, swooping the arms up. And exhale, hands into prayer, half center. Bringing your legs together at the front of your mat. If you have your blocks and your straps or whatever other equipment you are using nearby, I'd like you to keep it near your mat, possibly somewhere in the middle, so that you can use it in a moment if you need to, so it's an arm's reach. And coming back to the front of your mat, we're going to breathe in to swoop the arms up nice and slow. Breathing out, slowly hinging forward, keeping your legs straight, relaxing at the bottom. Taking a big breath, sink a little bit more. Breathing in, flatten your back. Breathing out, stepping back, high plank, either straight to your downward dog or through your last flow. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog and gently walking your dog. And taking an inhale. Exhale to bring your knees to the ground, sitting back onto your heels. Just relaxing here for a moment, feel free to move from side to side. We're then going to grab onto one block or other equipment if you would like to. Um, you can do this without a block, you are to just use the floor, I'll show you all variations. If you are unable to do this and get a good stretch, you can just pop your hands on the wall and allow your chest, your chest to sink forward, which I'll show you in a moment. So we're going to come into our puppy pose, bringing our knees hip width apart and directly underneath our hips. Without any equipment, our hands are just going to come as far forward as you can here, keeping your hips over your knees. You can either come flat to the floor or up onto your fingertips to give you a bit more space. And then you're going to take a nice big breath in. And as you breathe out, we're going to melt our chest down towards the floor, keeping our forearms off of the floor, elbows straight. And you can let your forehead relax down if you would like. You should be feeling this stretching through the sides of your shoulder blades and through here. So imagine trying to push your chest down towards the floor and your armpits with each breath out. If you're here, you're welcome to stay there. If you're using blocks, we just gently put our hands on that instead and do the same thing, melting forward. Same with if your hand is on the wall or on furniture, feel free to improvise. And if you'd like a little bit more stretch, look forward and sink your chest lower. I'm gonna hold here for two more breaths, breathing in, and breathing out. Last one, breathing in, breathing out. And then we're gonna gently rock back, sink your glutes onto your heels, forehead relaxes on the ground. Then take your arms alongside you, palms face up, relax your shoulders here instead. If you'd like to, you're welcome to interlace your hands behind your back, hands up to the ceiling, and gently rock from side to side as well. And when you're ready, gently letting go of your hands, bringing them back out to your child's pose. Then inhale to walk our hands in towards our body, sitting up on our heels, swoop the arms all the way up. Breathing out, gently turn to your right, left hand to right knee, right hand behind you. Breathing in, coming up. Breathing out, opposite side. Breathing in, coming up. And breathing out, hands into prayer heart center. Beautiful, swinging your legs around, coming forward to the front of your mat. And this is where we're going to grab onto that big bath towel we talked about at the beginning. If you don't have a block, if you have a block, this will help be a little bit more uh, stable for you and give you a little bit more stretch or something like a block, so books, containers, something that won't break. What we're going to do is just help to open out the hips. So in a moment, we're going to pop this block along our pelvis here. 
Okay, so not up and down, across the pelvis and right in the bone, not up in the lower back, here. Now, depending how much stretch you want is how high you have whatever you're using. Okay, so whichever height. So if you were using towels, maybe get a few more because you're going to sink a little bit into a towel, a uh, pillow or anything like that. So we're going to gently lie down onto our backs. When you're ready, take your feet flat to the floor, hip width apart, knees bent. Getting whichever equipment you would like, lift your hips up and place that block along your pelvis, right in the bony bit. Hands come either alongside you on your mat, palms face up, or out in a T-shaped palms face up. Keeping your shoulders relaxed and just making yourself comfortable wherever you are. And feel free to allow your eyes to close. Just taking some nice big breaths. For those of you that haven't done yin yoga before, we normally hold our yin poses for anywhere from three to five minutes to allow the muscles to stretch. I'm not necessarily going to be in that for as long today, but we will be here for a little while. It's a beautiful way to just relax, slow down. But for a lot of us, it's also quite hard because the mind often starts up when we slow down physically. So if you find that your mind starts to wander away again, try to find something in this moment that allows you to ground yourself. Whether it be the song that's playing, the feel of your feet against the ground, the feel of your head against the ground, or the rise and fall of your belly. And it's going to be perfectly natural that your mind will try to wander away again. And when it does, gently bring it back, take a big breath, and focus again on something present. You would like to deepen your stretch, you are welcome to straighten your legs or change the height of whatever you are using beneath your pelvis. Otherwise, keep your knees bent, stay where you are, and if you need to change the height of your block or equipment at any time, just modify it for yourself. Keeping the eyes closed, staying grounded, for a few more breaths. And slowly taking the nice big breath in and a long breath out. Then gently bringing your feet flat to the ground again, knees bent if you've moved them, and then bringing your arms alongside you on your mat. You're gonna engage your core to protect your lower back as we gently lift our pelvis off of the block, remove the block from to one side or whatever equipment you're using, and slowly lower your spine down to the floor. Hugging your knees into your chest, Gently rock from side to side. Take everything nice and slow to allow yourself to protect your lower back. We're going to take our knees above our hips so they're not so far in. We're going to do three gentle circles to the right and three to the left. Just to gently massage out your pelvis. And once you've done your circles, hugging your knees back into your chest and gently rocking side to side. Coming into your happy baby pose to finish, we're going to take the feet up to the ceiling, grabbing the inside or the outsides of the feet, 
Let your feet drop nice and wide. Pushing hands into feet and feet into hands, we gently rock side to side again. And take an inhale to bring your legs back together. And exhale to bend your knees, wrap your arms around them, and gently rock from side to side. Holding laying arm. Beautiful. Then you're going to take an inhale to hug your head up to your knees, hug everything in. Exhale to bring your head back down, stretch your arms up overhead and straighten your legs down to the ground. Take an inhale to point through your toes, stretch through your fingers, rinse out the spine. And then exhale to bring your arms alongside you on your mat, palm space up. Preparing for your savasana to finish. This is a couple of quiet minutes for you to just simply be and soak up your practice. Really encourage you to allow yourself this time. Try not to rush off. Just being. If you would like, gently scanning the body from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet and become aware of how your body now feels. Any areas of tension, any areas of lightness, any areas of differing emotion, the areas of deep breath. Feel that beautiful buzzing underneath your skin. And allowing yourself to soak up this present moment, staying where you are. I'm going to be shortly finishing this video, allowing you to bring yourself out of your savasana in your own time. So please stay on your back, eyes closed. And in a few minutes, when you feel ready, you gently turn onto your right, gently sitting up, and slowly carrying on with your day, but only in a few minutes time. Firstly, we're gonna take a nice big breath in, feel the belly rise, and through an open mouth, exhale, let it go. Breathing in, belly rise, letting go. One more time, breathing in, Letting go. I like to finish my classes with my personal mantra, a series of phrases that help to keep our positivity high to end our class on a very good note. So taking a nice deep breath in, silently repeating to yourself on your exhale. I am strong. I am powerful. I am beautiful. And I am more than enough. If you'd like to quietly repeat out loud, me this time you're welcome to. Taking a nice big breath in, repeating on your exhale. I am strong. I am powerful. I am beautiful. And I am more than enough. The light within me sees the light within you as the same as the light within me. Namaste. Thank you very much, everybody. Please take your time and in a few minutes, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. Namaste.